All right, everybody, what's up? This is Special Bear 95 and we are live. And I'm also Throwing Knife Killer. Don't get me wrong, okay? You're on the YouTube channel, Throwing Knife Killer. That's me. It's me. We're live today with more Pokemon unboxings, okay? And I know I'm, I'm like two to three minutes early today. I know, not exactly 5.15, but I'm just so excited. I want to open up cards. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, today, you know, as you can see, we got a lot of packs here in front of us. This is going to be part, you know, part of the mystery box we opened up yesterday where we got a whole bunch of different packs. We're going to be choosing packs from here, and I already have decided what packs I'm going to do. Since, you know, I really want to do some evolutions, I'm going to save those. I really want to do Lost Thunder, going to save it. These things, you know, all these you know, singles, whatever else. Um, the ones that I have a lot of, we're going to start to narrow down first. So, like, I'm going to do two Sun and Moon today because I have five of them for some reason. But that's, that's fine. These are better than Crimson Invasion, which I have four of. So, you know, for another reason. Um, one Burning Shadows, okay? And one Cosmic Eclipse, because I really love that Squirtle, Squirtle, that Piplup and Blastoise pack art. Um, so that's that's what we're gonna do. What's up? Welcome, Katie. So yeah, we, we got these yesterday. If you didn't see that video, you can go ahead and head over to my YouTube channel, Throwing Knife Killer. Um, you can watch it on Twitch too, there's a lot of it. And basically, we had a mystery box that we opened up 36 different packs, and we didn't know what any of them were gonna be. So we had three boxes. In fact, it was really awesome. Okay, so we did that yesterday. I'm so looking forward to Lost Thunder. That Lugia pack art is incredible. Really want to open it. So what we're doing is we're storing these packs in a tin, because what else do you do with your leftover tins? You store packs in them. If you got some packs to store, I guess, which I did not up until yesterday. Now I have the packs. So let's make sure we don't you know, ruin these either, right? There we go. These We'll be choosing from these tomorrow, okay? If we do another... I know before we open, guys, we're just talking about a few things. I am wondering if I should not do this every single day. A four packs a day, one pull min. Maybe what I need to be doing is streaming, like, an opening up of eight packs or something like that and do that two to three times a week, probably three times a week instead of four times a week, or sorry, instead of seven times a week, okay? So I'm thinking maybe I do some gaming on uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Fridays, and then I do pack openings on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Let me know what you guys think in the comments you know, below. Um, if you like that idea, go ahead and let me know. So we're going to go ahead, open up a Sun and Moon first, though, because we have four packs of, of course, to open up today. And if I happen to pull a Blastoise in one of these packs, I don't even know if Blastoise exists, okay? Or is there Blastoise? If I happen to, well, if I happen to pull a Blastoise Pit Plug out of this, I will open up a Lost Thunders pack, all right? And if I happen to open up a Gyarados in one of these packs, I will also open up a Lost Thunder pack instead. So not both of them, though. I'll only open up one of those. So, uh, oh, I can't start with this. What am I doing? I can't start with this. We're going to start with Sun and Moon. We're going to do that last. Um, Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows, Sun and Moon, and then the Blastoise Cosmic Eclipse. So without further ado, guys, I guess let's hop in this, right? Oh, my gosh. That glue is... Oh, never mind. It's not that stuck. We thought it was stuck. It's not that stuck. All right, uh, I don't know card code for this. I'm gonna hide them for now, okay? Because I don't wanna see the card code in case it does spoil it. I'm pretty sure it does. What is it, Sun and Moon? So it should be four. And I think, I think, I think, I think it could be Fairy. Fairy? It's water. I think there's Fairy in the set. Who knows? I got my sleeves over here though, ready to go, okay? So let's just hop right in. We got some water energy, a wishy-washy, which is very fitting for the water, a herdier. We got an Alolan Persian, very interesting. Paris. Lillipop, Bonsweet, Dupider, that's, you know, what is that? Du, Dupider, I guess. We got a Meanie over here. <gasps> Reverse Hollow Eradicate. What can we get? What can we get? Just the Palo Sand. All right. Well, that Reverse Hollow Eradicate definitely looks like he's chewing on something. Um, wow, chubby cheeks there. Uh, let's go ahead and sleeve him up because he's a Reverse Hollow, and I like to sleeve up the Reverse Hollows, as some of you know, okay? Or most of you probably know. If you watch any of these streams, you know I love the Reverse Hollows. All right, here we go. Let's open up second pack of the day. I know we're going to be flying through this if we don't watch out, right, guys? Um, again, card code. And I will show the card codes at the end. I will, okay, guys? I'm just putting them on my lap for now because I don't want to spoil um, what they are for myself, whether or not I have a pull. So, I'm feeling a little bit electric today. What do you guys think? Boom! Let's go! Let's go! All right, electric energy. We got an electric after electric. Uh, we got a buffalant, a simipore. I, I don't like simipore at all. A stuffle. Mudbray. Tynamo. An oddish. A duskull. 
A reverse hollow electric and a palisand again? What? Okay, but this one's a hollow, so that's definitely better. The palisand hollow, which the hollow foil is interesting on this card. It's pretty cool. It doesn't cover all of the card. Like this part is not hollow. It's like a reverse almost, but not not quite, you know. Um, we're going to go ahead, and I, I like that electric reverse right there. I'm burning shadows. Let's go ahead and sleep that up. But yeah, we got the palisand before. Now we got a palisand hollow. I'd never seen that card until today, which I opened it up twice. So anyway, here are our codes so far. We got a couple codes there for your faces. Let me go ahead and slide these cards over. Open up the next pack right in front of the, the codes so that you can't see them anymore, of course. Um, why would I do that? Because why not? Lillipup again. Sorry, spoiled it. Spoiled it. All right. Oh, shoot. I spoiled it. I am bad. I am so bad. I, I forgot I didn't pull that up. Well, you know what, guys? We could still get a cool reverse hollow, right? And fire. Psychic. That is psychic. That is not fire at all. Pokeball. It's a trainer card. A grand bull. Metapod. Lillipup. All right. We got a wingle over here. I know wingle. I know a wingle. Snubble. Carvana. A Zubat, Reverse Hollow, Big Malasada, and a Cloister. It's, I mean, if it had to be anything, sure, Cloister, non hollow is fine. Um, this looks like a Jelly Donut. It's not, it's not, that's not what that is, but it looks similar from that picture. Um, again, card code's there. We're going to just stack them up. All right, this is the pack you've all been waiting for, as you know, okay? Um, this is the Blastoise right here. We're, we've been waiting for this for a while, so let's go ahead and dig right in. You guys ready? Sorry, just checking stream things out. Wow, that one ripped open very easily. Um, all right, we're not going to spoil. We're not going to spoil. We don't know what the card code is. We don't know if it's a good one or a bad one. Cosmic Eclipse here. Four cards. All right, well, let's see. We want this to be Blastoise and Piplup. Centering is not fantastic. That's okay. All right. What are you calling? We call it. You call it psychic. Psychic. Let's go. Psychic. Two out of four. Two out of four. We got it, guys. Two out of four. Got a Pangoro over here hanging out with his bub by Brava. Rapidash. That's cool. Haven't seen many Rapidashes. A little pup. Trapinch. Sneasel. What's the deal? Well, sneezing, I guess. Sfeel. 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 What's the deal? Uh, Meowth. You just look weird. And I guess we got a Ducklet, Reverse Hollow, that's cool, I suppose, but we got a Lowland Sand Slash. What? You're doing me wrong. All right, well, we didn't get a, we didn't get a pull from that one. Um, oh, Cosmic Eclipse is new enough where it, like, can be revealed without actually getting a pull, so that's cool. I can show that card right there without knowing whether or not I got a pull. The Ducklet's still pretty cool, Reverse Hollow, I suppose, but... It's nothing special, guys. It's nothing special. The only pull we got today, because you know, it is four packs a day and one pull min, we got a Palisand. We did get a Palisand. What's that? What's that? You... Why? Why would I open up a Crimson Invasion? Crimson Invasion can't have anything good, can it? What? Crimson Invasion? Who told me to open up this pack of Crimson Invasion? Who's... Who is telling me to do this? Oh. It's me. Let's go ahead and open this pack up. Wow, look at that opening, amazing. Uh, we don't want to reveal the card yet because I don't know what it is. Crimson Invasion, I think, does give it away. One, two, three, four. This is five packs a day. We're trying to go for another pull. We're trying to go for another pull. Ping, we got fire. Berry, man. All right, whatever. Excelagor, we got a, can a Cancun over there. A Gastrodon and a Lolan Geodude. That's right. Aron. G -g Gusly, set him to the side. Star you got a Cacnea, Reverse Hollow Stuffle, and an Alolan Raichu Holographic. Now that is a pull. I will take it. Raichu is cool. I have a Reverse Hollow Alolan Raichu. I think these are interesting cards coming from Crimson Invasion too, because you know the Raichu itself is not hollow, but its background is hollow. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and actually check that one out. Let's see centering wise. We're looking really good left to right. I mean, pretty good left to right. And then top to bottom is pretty good as well. It's not perfect. Um, whiteness on the edges in the back. I can't really clean that off, obviously, through the sleeve, but it's probably not going to come off. And then centering is slightly off, more so top to bottom than left to right, I think. Um, the card code is right here for your faces. 
obviously for your faces and not for anything else. So you generally just look at it and automatically have the cards in your head. I think that's how that goes, right? Is that what happens? Um, let's go ahead and sleeve up this stuvel. And we're, we're gonna go ahead and pull over on our camera. Camera, camera. Let's pull over the browser. What do you think of the browser? What are we doing there? We're gonna go ahead and check out the browser for interwebs. Okay, and here we go. We got prices on here. We're on Darkness Blaze right now because Darkness Blaze is a boss. Um, but this one is Crimson Invasion. Who knew I would actually get something from Crimson Invasion? Amazing. Amazing, guys. So this Raichu is number 31. Number 31. Okay, Alolan Raichu. Just an Alolan Raichu regular is $58, okay? That's not even holographic. There's four PSA 10s in the world. Alolan Raichu Hollow. There's only two PSA 10s in the world and there's none that's sold. I'm gonna guess it's better than $58. So we're looking pretty decent over here. Um, I do have reverse foil, reverse foil Alolan Raichus. A couple of them, I think. Two PSA 10s again. None have sold. Who knows if there are even any for sale? Uh, the reason I put the Ghastly aside too is because I'm pretty sure Ghastly... Yeah, $41 just for a regular old Ghastly on this set um, for Crimson Invasion. I think it's because, you know, you didn't get a whole lot of great pulls in Crimson Invasion. I didn't, at least when I did it. So they're like, well, we're going to make the old Pokemon worth something. That's what people think. They're like, make them worth something. Again, off-center, that one. Um, but that Alolan Raichu is still pretty cool. And then I guess we can go ahead and check out Burning Shadows for the Palosand. I mean, really? Who would want a Palosand? Maybe someone who likes Sandcastles, I guess. I mean, do you like Sandcastles? Do you? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. You might like seeing Hazel's number 62, Paddle of Sand over here. And what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? $20.99. That's a win in my book, guys, because a Paddle of Sand worth $20.99 is more than a $4 pack. So, good news. But, you know what? That was last year, 2020, 5, 10, 5, 5 15. Okay, it could be worth more potentially now because things skyrocketed. This one's way off center. Not worth grading. But the Alolan Raichu is a sick card, guys. So I'm super happy about that. But that is all for now. I, I did five packs a day. You guys gotta, you gotta cut me. You gotta hold me back. Cut me back. You gotta hold me back. I gotta cut back on the packs I'm opening up. That's all right. We got a mess everywhere, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Don't forget to follow if you're on Twitch. We're nearly at an affiliate level where we can start having emotes and um, subscribe button, I guess. But... I'm not expecting anybody to subscribe. And then I know some ads. You can use ad blocker on me. It's cool. It's cool. Actually, I don't know if it works on Twitch. Um, but that's what we're trying to get to. And then, you know, who knows from there? You never know, guys. But that's all for now. And girls, by the way. That's all for now. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And here's the genuine throwing knife killer slash special bear 95. Peace out, everybody.